AI image generators are the future when it comes to creating content with AI. But the best image generators like Midjourney can be quite expensive. So I did some research and to me, these are the seven best Midjourney alternatives that you can use for completely free. And I will break them down for you. I will tell you exactly how it works, what I like about it, and how you can use them. So let's start with number seven, Crayon AI. Crayon AI is a great tool for anyone that wants to create content in a heartbeat. So with this tool, you can use it for completely free. You don't even have to sign up or you have to log in. You can just start generating your images right away. Within Crayon AI, it is very simplistic. We can just type in our prompt. We can choose the style that we like. And then if we want to go expert mode, we can choose some negative prompts. So for example, let's say I have a video where I want to do a, the city of Rome, but the negative words are people. So it doesn't put any people in there. Then I can do it like that. Because it's free though, you do have a lot of ads on the display, but let me now show you how you can generate your videos with it. So here it asks me what to generate, a Viking standing on his battleship in the middle of the sea. Then I can choose the style that I like. So do I want to do art, photo or drawing? So I'm gonna go with art and then I'm not gonna use any negative prompts. Now I can click on draw and now this will take about 60 seconds and then we have our images. Crayon AI creates nine images for you and that's also the thing that I like about it. It doesn't create just one, we get nine images all at once in less than 60 seconds. If you see an image that you'd like, for example, I like this one, then we can upscale it right here because the quality isn't that sharp as of right now. And we can also remove the background if we'd like. Besides that, you can even buy it on a t-shirt like this. So in terms of the quality, I'm going to give it a 5.5. But in terms of the performance, I am going to give it a 9. Because and it's free and it's easy to use. You don't have to log in. And it creates images super fast. And they create like 9 images all at once. Next up at number 6, we have getimg.ai. And this one is pretty cool. This is a bit different than the other one. Mostly it's higher quality because we have different styles that we can choose from. Here on the left hand side, we can see that we have photorealism V2, we have artistic and we have anime. So besides that, you can also do image references. So if you have an image that you want to keep in the same style, you can do it as followed like this. Then we also have photorealism V2. We can be more creative with 80 plus AI models. And also we have to control how our visual features will turn out. So for that, you most likely want to upgrade for the premium plan, but the free plan just works great. You get about 100 credits that you can use and each image generation costs about one credit. So here I have my prompt and now I'm gonna choose which kind of style I want. I'm gonna go with Photorealism V2. Then what I like about this is that we can choose the resolution. So now it's at one at one. Then we can also do something to do it a bit more horizontal. And we can also choose the amount of images that we want to create. So this way we can control how many credits we are spending per generation. So for this one, I'm gonna keep it at four. Here we can even import our reference image and then we can also choose how much of a similarity we want to have to that reference image. Now, once you're ready, you can click on generate and this honestly goes very fast. So this will be real time. Right now it's at five seconds and I'm sure within like 10 to 15 seconds our images will be generated. There we go, we have our golden retriever standing on top of a mountain. Here we even have two of them. Now, if you like this image, then you can download. You can even create something similar or you can turn it from image to video. So for the score, I'm gonna give it a six in terms of quality. I think it's a bit better than the previous one, but still we can do a lot better. And that's what I'm gonna show you in the next image generators. But in terms of performance, I think this one is great. It is super easy to use. You can generate images very fast and you have 100 credits available. So you can create one images for free. At number five, we have a tool that you're probably familiar with. The tool is called Runway AI. And this tool does more than just generating images. You can also generate entire videos with it. If we just take a look at the tools that Runway AI has, then we can see that we can do video to video, text image to video, generative audio, lip sync, text to image, remove background. We can do a bunch of things over here. But for this specifically, we're gonna talk about text to image. So let me give you a demo of how this works. Now with Runway AI, you get about 125 credits and each image generation costs you about five credits. So let me actually give it a prompt and let me show you how it works. So I have one of my prompts right here. So I'm gonna copy this prompt, a mason jar filled with a landscape of a small village, lighting strikes inside the jar. I'm just gonna show you, it's gonna look cool. Here we can choose the style. 
So we have a bunch of different styles and you can choose anyone that you'd like or that you think is suitable for your image. So I'm gonna go sci-fi art. Now let's go with the resolution. You can only do 720p. If you want to do 2K, you need to upgrade. You can change the ratio as well. And now let's generate it. So here we have our images and this is exactly what I meant. So we have a mason jar with like a small village in it with a lighting strike and this one is perfect for it. So if you like it, you can just download it or you can open it in the AI tool and then you can even like animate it. You can expand it. You can do infinite image. You have just such a bunch of cool features in this tool. So that's why this one is at number five. So for the performance, I'm gonna give it a six because for the generations, it costs you five credits to make a couple of images. And to me, that's quite expensive if you're using this. Now, also I think in terms of the styles, there could be so much more to it. It's just a bit basic and I'm missing like some of the models that I'd like to see. At number four, we have a really cool and also pretty interesting AI image generator. The tool is called Kriya AI. And when I saw this one the first time, I was quite surprised at how it works. So if we generate our images, then you can see you have your prompt right here. So let's say I do, for example, a field with sunflowers. Then we have to first sign up or log in. So let me just do that. Now, once you're logged in, you can just play around with this and then we can play around with these objects. So if I move this to the left, we have a real time image generation. We can even choose like the AI strength. And let's say we want to do it a little bit less Then we just have these squares. But if we turn it to the maximum, then it doesn't work at all. So we want to find the fine balance in there. So this way you can even change these objects and you can turn it to that way and you can try to make anything cool out of it. You have a bunch of different concepts over here, like a bunch of different models, and you can also change the aspect ratio. Pretty much this is a fairly complicated tool, but if you master this, you can create really cool images out of this. Now, another cool thing in here, we can just draw around. So let's say you want to draw and you want to put it in the video. Obviously, you need to be able to draw in a good way then it will generate something out of that. But it all depends on the AI strength. So I would suggest you to play around with this on the free version, see if you like it. And obviously you will be able to create something cool out of this. Now, in terms of the quality, I'm gonna give it a seven because I very much like the way that it has these output. And I think this is a very unique concept. That's also the reason why I'm gonna give the performance an eight because this real time happens so fast and it happens instantly. So the only downside to this is you have about 900 images per day available. But let's say I move this around, then that is instantly an image. So you gotta be careful with your credits because otherwise you will run out of them very quickly. So we're closing in at number three and at number three we have Night Cafe. And this one kind of like shares the spot with the previous one with Kriya AI because this one is very awesome. Let me just demonstrate how it works. So here I have my prompt and then we can choose what kind of style we want to add in. So night cafe, cinematic or realistic anime. I'm gonna go with night cafe. Now we have our image right here and we can even change our model. So right now I'm using Dream Shaper XL. If you know a bit about AI image generation, then you know like all of these models. So we have Stable Diffusion in there. We have Dream Shaper, Delhi 3 and we have a bunch of different things. Obviously the one thing that you need to watch out for is that these things cost credits. So right off the bat, you get about five credits. And for example, that image that I just created cost me about a half a credit. So on the Dell E3, you get a few credits available as well. But if you go to stable core, then one generation will cost you like four credits. So this is quite an expensive model, but the image generations are just so high quality. If you are able to generate a good prompt and you know how to generate good prompts, then this is the tool for you. Also, if you're uncertain how to generate good prompts for your images, just take a look at the top month images on this tool. So these images look very, very cool. For example, this one, if you want to see how they've made this, then you can check the settings and here you can see their prompt. So this is how you basically can learn a bit about prompt engineer. In terms of the rating, I'm gonna give it a eight in terms of the quality because I very much like the images that you can create with this. And in terms of performance, I also like it a lot and I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Number two on the list, a true mid-journey killer. 
is Leonardo AI. And this one is a tool that most of you might be familiar with. It is an awesome tool and that's why I have to give it number two on this list. So let me just give you a demo of how it works. If we go over to image generation, then we can see we have all these different models that we can choose from. We can choose anyone that we'd like. We can also see the ones from community and here you can find whatever you need. So for example, a common used one is the Leonardo Anime XL or something like Leonardo Lighting XL. So here we can generate images with that model. Here we can see my previous generations of which I used for a previous video. And now we can enter in our prompt. So here I'm gonna go with a underwater landscape. Now what I like a lot about Leonardo is that we can customize it a lot. So on the left hand side, you can see, you can turn on these photo reel, you can turn on alchemy, you can turn on prompt magic. You can even, if you don't know how to write a prompt, you can even to ask it to help you with prompt generation. So this way it will help you generate a couple of prompts of what you want to do and it will describe the image in a better way than you can do. Now, besides that, on the left hand side, we can do our dimensions. So we can choose any type of dimension that we like. We can do the advanced control. So for example, 16 by nine. And then this way we can control the output of our image. Besides that, we can even add like some elements in there. We can change the style if we want to, and we can even add negative prompts. So now let me generate our image. It will cost us three credits. And if I check correctly, you get about 150 credits per month for this. So honestly, you can generate quite a lot of images with this. Now, if we take a look at this one, this is one of the images that I made. Here we have another one. And basically, if you like the video, then you can download it. Or you can also use the Alchemy Upscaler to make it even better. Now for this tool, I'm gonna rate it an eight in quality. And in terms of the performance, an 8.5 because you have so much customizability in this tool. And at number one of our list, hear me out, this will be kind of crazy to you, but it is ChatGPT. GPT 4.0 and this is just announced to be free to the public so if we check out this public statement of OpenAI then we can see that GPT 4.0 will be free to ChatGPT 3 users so basically here we have the 4.0 model and honestly DAL E3 OpenAI they are just the best at this space in my opinion I've generated a lot of images in there I might say that I don't quite like the way you have to generate your prompt. But in terms of the image result, it's just insane. Let me just give this prompt right here. So I have a cat in the shape of butter, laying on a piece of French toast, sleeping, cute, hyper realistic. Now I'm gonna give it that prompt. And with the new 4.0, it is so much faster. It generates the image in an instant. And if you want to be more specific in terms of the size, then you can do that. Also, it will be more specific in knowing your characters. Just take a look at this cat, for example. This cat is exactly why this is one of the best prompters. The detail on these images is just so good. Now, let me do a prompt that I previously used in a tool that it was called Night Cafe. Let me just do it right here. And this one will also be done pretty fast. But if you want to be more specific, you can add in di the dimensions. What you can also do with ChatGPT is you can upload your own image and you can ask it to make something out of that. You can do it with your drawing, your sketches. And just take a look at this dragon, for example. This is the same prompt as I used before. And I very much like this design. So these were my favorite image generator alternatives to Midjourney. I'm curious to know which one are your favorite. Please let me know in the comments down below which one you like the most. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to click on this video that you're seeing on the screen right now if you want to see more videos about AI.